Owen is nine and he's so much fun. He's a brilliant little boy. We're so we're so blessed really to have him. He's very interested in sort of taking things apart and putting them back together and probably more taking them apart. But um, <laughs> very interested in how things work. He likes being outside, he likes uh, likes kicking the ball around in the garden. Got quite a silly sense of humour. Uh, he's not too serious about life. <laughs> he has a lot of fun. It's been great to see his progress, but when we think back, it really is a journey. Um, so he wasn't meeting any of his developmental milestones at all. He wasn't sitting up, he wasn't crawling, he wasn't walking, um, and he certainly wasn't talking. And we had no answers, did we, at that stage? No. no. It was um, a really sad, concerning time in our lives. Um, and then we entered the 100,000 Genome Project and it changed all that. Right, off we go. Off we go. We found out that I identified a specific condition that relates to how his body uses uh, thyroxine. Um, so it's quite unexpected and something that I, I don't think we would ever arrived at that without, without the testing. So when we got the diagnosis, it was such a relief, like I can't describe. It was something we'd been hoping for for four years and we found out, we knew what it was, there was a care pathway and it would make a difference to Owen's life. They were able to let us know what the treatment would be, which was basically, it's a single tablet that he takes every day. He, he got so much more energy. The lethargy had just gone. He, um, he kind of embraced life for the first time and he started growing. Um, before that he was really low on the growth charts but then he just, he just started shooting up and his verbal capacity came on, his sound production, his speech improved. Then he could do things like we got him a little car he could drive. Um, I mean he still can't ride a bike but he was able to like walk a bit more and he had more confidence in general, he was more social. He really came out of himself and his, we saw his personality for the first time, so he became quite cheeky. Uh, I mean, one of the big things for us is he's been able to stay in uh, mainstream school. Uh, he does have some support in school, but for a time we weren't sure whether that was going to be possible. Um, so he, he, he's managed to do that. He's just so much more engaged in life which is what you want as a parent. Getting the diagnosis has been quite huge for me and Sarah as well. Um, it's, it's obviously taken away a lot of the uncertainty that we were feeling and a lot of the stress. I, I don't think you can overstate really how much of a, a, a burden that was sort of lifted off our shoulders when, when we got the diagnosis. It's enabled us to actually get in contact with other families who, whose children have, have the same or very similar condition and really sort of understand a bit more about, about the condition itself and what it might mean for Owen. It's not like uh, click your fingers and everything's fixed, but it's, it, it's an answer and, it, and, it, and it's a way forward. The main thing is hope for the future. The 100,000 Genome Project has given us that. He can lead a full, fulfilled, happy, positive life and he's got the right people around him, he's got the right tools, he's in the right pathways to access all of those things. And the future looks very different now. 